Today we're taking a look at the CS330 NAS case from Silverstone. A while back, I built a backup Unraid server for my primary storage NAS. I used an older Antec case, but it's really time to replace that aging chassis with something a little more elegant and a little more functional. I reached out to Silverstone to check out this CS330 MATX storage focused chassis. The CS330 is an interesting take on an MATX storage case. It features support for four 3.5 inch hard drives in the standard hard drive cage inside of the case. In addition to the traditional hard drive cages though, there's room for another 3.5 inch drive directly below the cage. As if 5 drives weren't enough, there's another 3 hard drive bays that are hot swappable up at the top of the case. These are connected to the PC by a USB 3.0 adapter. So this case can store 8 total 3.5 inch hard drives or 7 3.5 inch hard drives and 1 2.5 inch that's actually a ton of hard drives to stuff into a case that is only measuring in at 8.27 inches wide, 14.72 inches high, and 15.16 inches deep. This case clocks in at just over 30 liters. It's about 30.2 liters, weighing about 13.3 pounds empty. For my usage, I plan on using this case as a backup Unraid storage server. Eight total 3.5 inch hard drive bays should be plenty in a smaller case for a backup. The main cooling in this case comes from the included 180mm AP181 fan, which is pushing 54.2 CFM at a static pressure rating of 0.49mm to H2O at 600 RPM. At 600 RPM, we're looking at about 15.9 dB worth of sound. This is the slower mode though, the AP181 can spin up to 900 RPM or 1200 RPM, pushing 78.68 CFM with a static pressure rating of 1.2 millimeters to H2O, or at the max speed 100 CFM at 2.18 millimeters to H2O, coming in at about 30 dB. In terms of the three modes, I actually settled on the low fan speed mode. It was adequate for cooling and it wasn't too loud either. Since the fan is so large in this case, basically going to be covering the 4-drive hard drive cage as well as a good portion of the case above the hard drive cage. A rear fan is not included on this case, but it could be beneficial depending on how you're installing hard drives and what CPU and graphics card you install. If you're installing a highly powered CPU or a GPU that's going to output a lot of heat, I would probably recommend picking up an exhaust fan. This is kind of an interesting layout. Rotating the motherboard like this allows you to still have somewhat of a decent sized graphics card in the storage based system. This would be especially handy for people running a GPU for Plex or re-encoding media into X265, or if you run your main PC off of your NAS, basically as a virtual machine, passing the graphics card through, taking a couple of cores, essentially turning this case into multi-use, storage and your everyday PC. This is much more common among the Unraid users, but there's a lot of different ways you can configure this case and use it. Because of this, you can cram a 336mm long GPU into the case, which will allow for a pretty good selection of GPU options. Here in my build, I'm using an MATX Supermicro motherboard with a low-end dual-core Celeron and 4GB of DDR3 system memory. This server's main purpose is acting as a backup to my main NAS for all of my important files, so I don't really need to go crazy on the compute power, even though I could fit up to a 165mm tall dual tower CPU cooler in this case. A cooler of that size should be able to easily cool an i5, an overclocked i5, and probably the i7s, as well as the Ryzen 5s and even some of the Ryzen 7s and maybe Ryzen 9s. I might even be able to stuff my micro ATX Threadripper build into this case and keep that cool under load as well. The CS330 from Silverstone is really an interesting case. You can really cram quite a bit in here and configure it kind of however you need it. It's a good blend of decent amount of storage, it's small, but you can still fit some powerful hardware in here. And the cooling is decent because of the included Silverstone AP181 180mm fan. As I mentioned, I'll be running Unraid for my main operating system on this NAS. 
What I was most curious about was the hard drive temperatures during a parity calculation. This typically will generate a decent amount of heat or load on the hard drives. The ambient temperature was about 20 C or about 68 degrees Fahrenheit when I tested. The drives in the top USB connected bays were around 26 degrees Celsius at idle and about 38 degrees Celsius at load. The single drive at the bottom of the case was about 26 degrees at idle and about 34 C at load. In terms of the four hard drives in the hard drive cage, those averaged out to about 24 to 25 C and under load, they were looking at about 32 to 33 C. So in terms of the temperature testing, the hard drives in the drive cage in front of the AP181 fan definitely had the best temperatures, but the temperatures were pretty decent for the bottom drive and the three top mounted drives as well. The top three hard drives were in the hot swap bays. Their temperatures were a little bit warmer, but they were still in a pretty happy range for a parity calculation. Building in this case wasn't really too bad. I didn't know what to expect given the small size with basically trying to cram a NAS into this case. I didn't run into any quality issues during the build and I didn't really have any issues with the design choices. It was pretty easy to actually get all the drives in, install the motherboard, the cooler, and the power supply. So I would say my overall build experience was pretty good in this. One thing to note though, once you do set this case up and you fully load it out with eight hard drives like I did, don't forget, Hard drives aren't light. The case was a little bit heavy. Keep in mind, you can utilize those top three external drive bays and remove the drives if you need to shed some weight when you move the case. Overall, I would say if you're looking to build a micro ATX NAS, the Silverstone CS330 is actually a pretty good option. You can cram up to eight three and a half inch hard drives in here. You've got a pretty decent intake fan. You've got space on the back for another exhaust fan. You're not limited very much on the CPU cooler. You can install a huge dual tower cooler if you have to, and you can still fit a decent sized graphics card in this case. If you're running your main gaming PC as a VM on your Unraid server, this would do it. I also liked that this is a regular ATX case. You might notice that I typically prefer rec mount chassis, but the plan for this NAS is to actually move it off-site and then R-Sync all of my data over a VPN back and forth. And you can really read that as it's probably going to my parents' house or a buddy's house. And that's how I plan on tackling my off-site backup. Check out the description for links to the parts I used in my build. Let me know in the comment section what you thought about this case, the build, and if you're planning on building your own NAS or backup server. Until next time, enjoy your tech stuff.